Everybody ready? Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. By way of introduction, my name is John Van Vitto. I'm speaking to you today because I'm the Assistant Commissioner for Crime Service, responsible for the branches that um, have made the arrest today and uh, the announcement. The purpose of calling you here today is to update you on two criminal investigations that relate to three child deaths. Task Force Prime is one of them and Task Force Veritas is the other one. Task Force Prime commenced in July 2022 and it relates to the death of two young children. The six-year-old Charlie Nowland who died in July 2022 and seven-year-old Mackay Wangani who died in February 2022. Task Force Veritas commenced in June 2020 it relates to the death of a 15-year-old child named Jasmine Wilmot. Jasmine died in 2018. Today we've announced the arrest of three adults. Each adult has been charged with the manslaughter of one child. Each of the arrested persons is appearing in court today, this afternoon. And therefore it's somewhat inadvisable for the police to make public comment when the matters are before a court. So it's for very obvious reasons that um, I won't be going into detail in relation to the evidence. But I feel it's important uh, to comment publicly on the process in broad terms. It's important because the death of these children is a matter of public interest. It was a matter of public interest at the time that the deaths were announced. And it will continue to be throughout the next stages of the judicial system. I should point out it's extremely rare in South Australia to charge an adult for the death of a young child. To charge three in one day is unprecedented. But there's a reason for that. The reason is because the three investigations have been managed and coordinated by task forces. You shouldn't read any more into that than that fact. It's important that I make clear that the three cases are not linked in any way. The facts and circumstances that give rise to a charge of manslaughter are different in each case. What is the same though is that the adult that's been charged with manslaughter owed a duty of care to the child at the time. <clears throat> Going through the arrests which have been announced in relation to Charlie, a 47-year-old woman from Manapara has been charged with Charlie's manslaughter. She was further charged with criminal neglect of four other children <clears throat> that were aged uh, between 8 and 14 that lived with Charlie at the time. In relation to Mackay, a 50-year-old man from Craigmore has been charged with Mackay's manslaughter. And in relation to Jasmine, a 54-year-old woman from Flagstaff Hill has been re-arrested and charged with Jasmine's manslaughter. She's been further charged with other criminal offences arising from the same set of circumstances. As I've mentioned, Jasmine died in 2000, 2018 and in 2020 a woman was arrested. At the time she was charged with criminal neglect. Those charges were then dropped in 2021, but Task Force Veritas continued to investigate Jasmine's death. And today, owing to new evidence, we've been able to lay a charge of manslaughter. <coughs> Task Force Prime and Veritas involved the full resources of the Major Crime Investigation Branch and the Public Protection Branch. Both task forces were supported by other specialist areas within SAPOL, including police from the policing districts. It's taken considerable work and effort to reach this point. 
and we are grateful to the Director of Public Prosecution, who has made available to us his most senior and experienced prosecutors. We have sought advice from the DPP. Uh, we have listened to their advice and we've considered their advice against the evidence. And we find ourselves today in the position that a charge of manslaughter should be laid in each case. The investigations have been thorough. They've examined volumes of material and they've done so carefully, but they're not finished. They've exam examined physical evidence, financial evidence, forensic evidence, and expert evidence. The investigators will continue to gather evidence for the DPP as they have a continuing duty to prove or disprove the charges against the accused. The arrests signal a milestone in these particular matters, but they're not the end by any means. And as we move into the judicial, judicial phase, and as matters no doubt get reported publicly, it's essential for everyone to remember that today and tomorrow and every day until a judge or a jury delivers a verdict, the three accused retain the presumption of innocence. I will, however, publicly acknowledge the cooperation and the assistance of all the government agencies that were involved from whom we asked for information and evidence. Their assistance has been terrific and so has the support from their executive. I also acknowledge the enormous effort and dedication to this work by the sworn and unsworn investigators within SAPOL um, who have contributed to today's announcement uh, on behalf of both task forces. And of course, as the brief of evidence continues, I make the plea again that now that people have been charged, other people might find it that is the time or the moment to come forward. Uh, if you have information about any of these deaths or the facts or circumstances, please contact Crime Stoppers and you can remain anonymous.